WUSA 9 cameras were there in January as an entire crew of home renovators were ordered to stop working on this house on A Street in Southeast DC. Their violation, working without permits displayed on the front window as required by DC law. The house that ne is next to me, I just learned today, is, is full of wires that are properly covered. This stop work order happened by chance and the agency enforcing the law isn't the one tasked with this responsibility. DCRA. DC Fire and EMS shouldn't be doing that. That's DCRA's job. But they're missing in action. The fire marshals were actually dealing with a building collapse up the street when Advisory Neighborhood Commissioner Denise Krepp alerted them about illegal construction oh, no, at other houses. Because they're working over there too. In that same time, fire marshals also spotted other homes on the same block showing signs of being under construction. There were no posted permits. You know, it turned a slow day into a busy day. If it wasn't a slow day. DC Fire and EMS isn't charged with checking permits. That's actually a required function of DCRA. There's a blighted property standard. Yeah. Remember how familiar these yes, were? Yes, I'm familiar with the blighted property. The next week, we walk through the neighborhood with DC Council Chair Phil Mendelson, including a few blocks south on Burke mm -hmm. Street Southeast. This is where former ANC member Francis Campbell complained about construction not displaying proper permits, a complaint he says he too reported to DCRA. Typically, when they come up and find illegal work going, they placard it with a stop work order. Mm -hmm. Never happened. Despite the numerous yeah. emails, despite the numerous calls, despite the numerous complaints. We gave DCRA the addresses and neighborhood concerns about non-permitted work happening. For the Burke Street address, DCRA says one of their inspections did catch illegal construction. Despite the agency citing building owners, neighbors report work continued until it was finished. And as for that A Street house that we spotted fire inspectors kicking out workers, DCRA says while it labeled the house as vacant, no further inspections were made despite neighbors claiming repeated complaints. An agency spokesperson also admitted its public database was out of date when WUSA 9 brought up that it was missing inspection reports on some addresses. What can the council do to fix this? Well, what we are doing is we're breaking up the department uh, so that there will be a new build, de department of buildings uh, which will have a narrow focus. That agency split comes after a three-year investigation by WUSA 9's Delia Gonsalves exposed flaws in its building inspections and permitting. Mayor Muriel Bowser is required by D.C. law to split the agency and tells the council her budget scheduled to be released this Wednesday will figure out how to pay for it. But for D.C. resident, budgets and agency control matter less than the feeling that lack of housing inspections can put families in danger. Fire marshal just told me the house next to where I live with my two children and husband is unsafe. Yeah, I'm a little angry right now. Just a little angry. In Southeast D.C., Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.